Good morning everyone. We've been learning about plants and today we're going to learn more about plants. But for this lesson we're going to need our curtain fig. He's our friend, we can call him Kurt. The botanical name for the curtain fig is Ficus microcarpa. All plants have botanical names. They're usually in Latin, so it would be, if you find any, maybe you can research what their Latin names are and teach us when we're all together again. Let's look at the parts of Kurt. We know the trunk is the big stem of the um, tree that grows above the ground and it helps the tree get taller and taller so that the leaves can get to the sunlight. Off the trunk we know we have branches and off the branches grow the leaves. Now what is special about leaves? What have we learned about leaves? Now, leaves are the food factory of the plant. That's where the plant makes its food. We could say that trees eat with their heads. But I wonder where trees drink. What holds the tree up? Let's come closer and have a look at these roots. Here we have some roots holding the trunk into the ground. There are many different kinds of roots and we're going to study all the different kinds of roots but for now we just need to see what the roots do. The roots go into the ground and they look for water. Their main job is to look for water and they go in search like little spies through the ground looking for water. Well, that's what the botanists tell us anyway. But I wonder if that really is true. Do you really think that plants drink with their feet? Imagine that. Imagine if we had a drink with our feet. Let's see. I've got a little experiment that you can do. And you can do this at home very easily as long as you promise to tidy up and don't leave sand all over the house for your mum. She'll be very upset. Here, I've got a roasting tray or a Pyrex dish which I filled with some soil from the garden. You can do that too. Make sure the soil is nice and dry and nice and flat. Alright, Trav's going to be helping us with this experiment. He's filled his basin with sand and now he's going to make a hole. Make a hole in the sand here. And this is a rock he found in our garden. Can you put that in the hole? Put the flat side onto the glass. Shift all the sand around the rock so that it's nice and firm. And that's going to be our obstacle. We're going to need it for an experiment later. All right. In order for our plants, our seeds to grow, we're going to have to plant them. Let's make a furrow. Travi, would you like to make a furrow on this side? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you make a furrow on that side? So we're going to make a, a, a little line, hole like that, so that we can plant our seeds in. Can you do that? We only need one. Excellent. Now, can you see what seeds these are? Turn up. These are radishes, garden radishes. Plant them in the furrow. That's enough, I think. Look, they grow quite close together. So I think that'll be enough. Can I fill it up? Hold that. Once all your seeds are inside, cover them carefully with the sand. Do you remember where your furrow was? Yep. Here's a little ticket that says start. Will you put it in line with your furrow? There. Now what we want to do is we want to see if plants actually do drink with their feet. So we're going to raise this up with a little car we have. Can you see any of your seeds or are they all covered? All covered. All covered. Seeds need a little bit of water in order to grow. Can you pour a little bit of water on the seeds?
That's great. That's the best I can do. That's great. Now tomorrow, when you come and water your seeds, you're going to need to put water here. In that line, right? In that line. Okay, today and then to the hill. And then the next day, we're going to move this down and we're going to put water in this line. So it's going to be all in those little dots? Yes. You can do water in all of those little dots, but for tomorrow, you're going to water here. Make sure that when you water here, you don't get any water on this side. And that's why we've raised this a bit, so that the water can run down this way. Okay, well. Because we want to see if roots follow water. Alright, we're going to be working with roots for a few more days. So go and make your experiment. Make sure you clean up afterwards so your mum and dad don't have to. And keep it in a warm, sunny space and remember to water it every day. Move your ticket down every day and make sure not to get any water up here. Can you see I've raised it so that the water all runs down. Alright, good luck setting this up and I hope it works out for you. We'll see you tomorrow when we talk about some more things, interesting things about roots. Have a good day.